Hello and welcome, all friends and devotees of yoga and uh, meditation and Buddhist studies. We'll continue our um, second series of uh, lectures, which is Understanding Buddhism or to Understand Buddhism. Uh, this research was initially established by Grandmaster Ching Kong. Um, who has taken a lot of pains, Master Ching Kong has taken a lot of pains to really study Buddhism, you know, uh, very profoundly, to go all the way back to the time of the Buddha and help bring us a true picture of what Buddha and his earliest followers were like in the beginning. Uh, I'll continue my reading. Um, for those who are new, I'll advise that you visit um, the websites. I've attached uh, certain websites to this particular video of the works of Grandmaster uh, Ching Kong on understanding Buddhism or to understand Buddhism as he calls it. So I'll continue reading. Uh, if you have any comments or any uh, questions, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. My email address is c.aburime, c.aburime at hotmail.com or uh, color college at hotmail.com color spelled British c-o-l-o-u-r-c-o-l-l-e-g-e -E. color college at hotmail.com I'll continue reading um, from uh, to understand Buddhism or understanding Buddhism uh, by Grandmaster Ching Kong we are now on page uh, for those who are new just go straight to page 5 uh, for those who already have the book Go straight to page 5 and we'll continue reading from page 5. From this we can see that Buddhism is a teaching. However, a teacher can only educate us about the principles. Tell us of his or her experiences in practice and attainment. And suggest various methods for our attainment. The rest ultimately depends upon us. We are the ones who need to be enthusiastic and diligent in order to attain achievement. Once we understand that Buddhism is an education, we will logically regard the Buddha as our teacher. From this, we understand that in proper way places, we do not regard that uh, we do not regard the Buddha or Bodhisattva images as gods to be worshipped. We make offerings to these images for two reasons. First, to remember and repay our gratitude for this truly great education which we have so fortunately encountered and accepted in this lifetime. The opening verse to sutras says it very well. It is extremely difficult to encounter this teaching in infinite aeons. The depth of gratitude we owe the Buddha is similar to the remembrance which some Chinese have toward their ancestors. We reflect on our origins for without these ancestors we would not exist. The second reason we make offerings to the Buddha is to follow the examples of the virtues. Buddha Shakyamuni was an ordinary person like us, yet he was able to be awakened and become a Buddha. What is there to stop us from achieving this as well? Therefore, the pictures or statues of the Buddha serve to remind us every moment to advance diligently towards this goal. The images are not to be regarded as gods or objects of superstition. So I'll pause at this point and I'll try to explain. Uh, as Grandmaster Ching Kong is saying, uh, it's not to be misunderstood by those who, are, uh, who do not understand Buddhism, those who are not familiar with Buddhism. Uh, they may think that, well, Buddhists worship these statues. We don't. The statues represent 
certain virtues that we admire. And, and this is the reason why we burn incense to these virtues, to these uh, 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 statues or statuettes. We are not necessarily worshipping them. We don't worship dumb uh, idols. We are not idol worshippers. But we, those statues are objects of teaching. They are objects of instructions coming down from the Buddha. They represent certain things. Guanin Bodhisattva represents infinite compassion. Compassion is so important between human beings. So, this is why we burn incense to these statues. It's very important. These teachings sort of, uh, we really need to meditate more. Meditate more on them. Try to understand them. You see, Buddhism, really, as a discipline, requires a lot of attention, a lot of concentration, and a lot of meditation. These are the secrets. You really have to be attentive. You have to know what is going on. You really have to bring your mind to a point of concentration. You really have to bring your mind, be present-minded. This is what Buddhism, Buddhism doesn't require a lot of uh, just doing what everybody else is doing. Buddhism requires you to be, uh, just a minute, 